this place is just so gorgeous. I am technically in California, but at the same time, I'm kind of like in Europe because I'm in a small town called Solvain, which is actually a Danish town close to Santa Barbara. And it's just so gorgeous. And me, myself, being European, well, I love exploring these kind of places. I'm just so excited to see what's here. I wonder. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're actually doing a vlog in Solvain which is a city close to Santa Barbara in the Ines Valley and it's a really beautiful place. It's actually a Danish town and there's so much cool stuff to see here. There's windmills, there's a lot of cool little stores that sell a lot of trinkets from Denmark, there's beautiful fountains. There's just so much stuff to see here and it is a very beautiful and pleasant day so Let's explore! Solvain is a city in Santa Barbara County, California. Since attracting national media attention in 1947, it has been developed as a themed town. The city is home to a number of bakeries, restaurants, and merchants offering a taste of Denmark and California. The architecture of many of the facades and buildings reflects traditional Danish style. Something smells rotten in the state of Denmark. No, <laughs> actually, it smells really good right here. I'm just alluding to the fact that the windmill right here is called the Hamlet Square. And I really think it's kind of cool because Hamlet is one of the best plays from William Shakespeare. And the quote that I just said is from that play. But also I did want to highlight this windmill because I am from Europe and being from Europe, I'm used to seeing a lot of windmills. And whenever I see one, I just feel happy. It makes me feel at home. So yeah, it's really cool. It's really beautiful and I'm enjoying my day. There are a total of four windmills in Sylvain. This particular one is named after the title role and protagonist of William Shakespeare's tragedy, Hamlet. In the play, Hamlet is the Prince of Denmark, nephew to the usurping Claudius, and son of King Hamlet, the previous King of Denmark. Something that I really appreciate about Solvain is the fact that pretty much each street is actually catered to relaxation. And in some ways, when you come here as a tourist, well, it is awesome because you can enjoy the patios and sit down in the sun and have a nice drink, have some food, have a pastry and just enjoy. And honestly, living most of the year in California where everything is so catered to just driving in cars and being fast paced, well, being in this kind of town where everything seems a little bit more slow and more catered to enjoyment and just enjoying the beautiful weather of California is so welcome. Apart for the relaxing cafes and restaurant patios, one of the main attractions is the Solvain trolley, which is available as both a motorized trolley and a horse-drawn trolley, called the Honen, which means the hen in Danish. Originally, the streetcars were used to pick up shoppers from the Solvain Lutheran home to take them to Nielsen's market. These trolleys would also deliver groceries around the Santa Ines Valley. Nowadays, this trolley is made available to Solvain visitors, giving tours of the Danish town. Whenever I see a theater, I can't help myself. I love acting, so I love to highlight theaters. And right here in Solvain, there's the Solvain Festival Theater, which is a really cool theater that was founded in 1974. It's actually an outdoor theater that seats 700 people. And it operates mostly from June through October. And what I like about it is that it kind of is reminiscent of the theaters in the round of Shakespeare's time, kind of like the Globe Theater in England. And I really think it's kind of a really cool idea that they have all these summer plays. And as I mentioned, I love acting, I love theater. So whenever I can highlight something that has to do with the arts, I have to show it. And on top of that, the building is so beautiful. The Solvain Festival Theater is definitely one of Solvain's biggest attractions, with its 700-seat open-air festival theater. Strong support from the local business community allowed the structure to be completed in record time. Recent productions have included West Side Story and Les Miserables. The style of the exterior is reminiscent of both Danish and Elizabethan architecture. Being in a Danish town, it's without too much of a surprise that there would be a statue of Hans Christian Andersen. And if you're wondering who Hans Christian Andersen is, well, he is actually one of the most famous, if not the most famous author from Denmark. And he's known for novels, plays, but more specifically, fairy tales. And if you're wondering what fairy tale he's known for, well, Disney adapted one of his most famous ones, which is The Little Mermaid. So yes, I told you that you would know this author and his statue is pretty cool. Something that I've noticed walking through this town is that pretty much every street has a bakery, which 
kind of makes me think that maybe Denmark might be known for its pastries. After all, in America, we do have Danishes, which are super delicious pastries. And uh, yeah, I am trying to resist the fact of going inside a bakery and having a bunch of pastries. But uh, maybe for this video, I might make an exception, make the sacrifice so that I can actually show you the real delicacies of Denmark. Bakeries are abundant in Solvain, and all of these bakeries have their own little character and make this town so pleasant to visit. On a historical note, Danish pastries were greatly influenced by the Austrians. The story goes that when the Confectioners, Bakers and Chocolate Makers Association of Denmark went on strike back in 1850, the Danes maintained a stiff Scandinavian lip and imported Viennese bakers to do the baking. And with the Viennese came Austria's rich culinary history, which in turn was borrowed from previous cultures. I couldn't help myself. I had to stop by a bakery and uh, I did get tempted and I got a bunch of pastries. Um, and yes, I did get a Danish and um, I'm kind of curious to taste it. It has a bit of cinnamon on it and some sugar and it looks really, really nice. Mmm. Okay. Now this is what I call a Danish. A Danish pastry, sometimes shortened to just Danish, especially in American English, is a multi-layered laminated sweet pastry in the Viennese tradition. Many other varieties of sweets and pastries are offered in all these bakeries. Some are topped with chocolate, pearl sugar, glacé icing, slivered nuts, and they may be stuffed with a variety of ingredients such as jam or preserves. Shapes are numerous, including circles with filling in the middle, figure eights, spirals known as snails, and the pretzel-like kringles. This town doesn't stop surprising me. I was walking through all these streets filled with shops and little restaurants, and then I came by a little residential area, and I saw these really cute little cottages right behind here, and I kind of laughed because it actually made me think of the picture-perfect house that a foreigner would think an American person would be living in. And I had to live for 20 years in America and come to a place like Solvain in order to actually find a house that was this picture-perfect house that you would expect in a movie or in a film or just in a regular American street. And I must say, it's gorgeous. I really wouldn't mind living in such a place. Throughout the city, I found that many stores were selling clogs, which are basically a type of footwear made in part or completely from wood. Usually clogs are associated with Dutch culture, but in reality they have been part of Danish culture since the 13th century and have left traces in the Danish vernacular through language, music and visual arts. Traditional clogs remain in use as protective footwear in agriculture, in some factories, mines, and are also used in several different styles of dance. If you're trying to do any sort of shopping, well, I think that there is a lot of stores right here in this little Danish town. But one thing that you must know is that a lot of these stores are really catered towards tourists. So most of the stuff that you can buy, yes, it is Danish or even European like, and even a lot of like little Dutch stuff. But at the same time, it is touristic. So it's gonna be mostly stuff that doesn't have much use in real life but it is nice to see stuff from other culture and especially if you're looking for foods and sweets yes you will probably find your happiness here the most iconic statue in Sylvain is actually the statue of the little mermaid right behind me and what's really notable about it is that it's actually a replica of the same statue that is located in Denmark but it's only half the size of that statue and even though it is smaller even though it is half the size it's still just as beautiful and I really enjoy looking at this fountain. The half-sized bronze replica of the original Little Mermaid statue has sat on a rock in Copenhagen Harbor since 1913. The statue was a bicentennial gift to the city by the owners of Denmark Square, which is where she sits on her own landlocked rock and is a civic symbol of Solvain. This town is really catered towards tourism and you can tell because pretty much every street and every corner has a hotel, an inn, a motel and there's all these different places where you can sleep at and behind me this is actually the typical inn that you would actually find in this place and I really love it because it does feel like you are in Denmark and if you're not willing to travel all the way to Europe and you're in California well you can travel to Europe in California by staying in one of these hotels. 
these three men behind me are actually the founders of Sylvain and they founded this town in 1911 which is actually cool because it's more than a hundred years ago and the name Sylvain actually means sunny fields in Danish which is kind of cool because well we are in sunny California and I am enjoying a sunny day so yeah, it actually makes sense with the name of the city. Sylvain really is beautiful with its 9,000 acres of land. And speaking of land, apart from the trolley tours of the city, I found that businesses were also renting out electric vehicles branded as Emoke, which can be rented basically by the hour and allow tourists to more easily navigate through Sylvain and its surrounding attractions found around the Santa Ines Valley. On top of these electric vehicles, Sylvain also offers bicycle rentals including Surrey bicycles, which are tandem bikes. Something that I really appreciate about this town is that I can tell that the people who live in this place and that own these buildings, well, they love Sylvain. And I really like going in places like this because look at the building behind me. Yes, it looks beautiful, especially this little wheel right here. You would kind of maybe imagine it as part of a windmill where the water passes by. But even though the building looks nice, well, they're renovating it, which kind of shows to me that the people that live here and that own these places actually care for this place and that they hope that maybe people like me that come and visit it, they'll be able to come and visit it for decades to come. And that makes me want to come here even more and discover this place even more. Solvain is undoubtedly a super beautiful town. But when they say beauty, well, there's a lot of challenges that come with that because there's a lot of tourists, there's a lot of traffic and there's a lot of delivery trucks which means that there's a lot of noise everywhere so sometimes vlogging can be kind of a challenge so when i found this quaint little plaza i thought that this would be the perfect place to actually end this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed coming on this journey with me and discovering this little danish town and if you did enjoy it please be sure to subscribe hit the like button, leave me a comment too. Let me know what your favorite place was in Solvain and if maybe I actually missed some other places. And let me know if there's maybe some other places in California that I should visit. Maybe I could make a video about it. Either way, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.